Hey guys, this is Ruby as always, and welcome back to the Tech World 2 FTB pack. So look at this little biome I found. Uh, it's a clay biome. They call it a Badlands, uh, but it's pretty much like the 1.7 uh, Mesa biome, except I feel like it's a little more random. You know, like it's got some more random colors because it seems like the Mesa biome. It goes in layers and it just gets different colors by the layer. And this one kind of spreads them out, and it's even got it like on cooked clay. Which I think is pretty cool. So I have been Enderman fighting, hunting, all that good stuff. And uh, I actually found something cool when I came out here. Because uh, I discovered this uh, looking for the end portal. Ooh, I still got some XP down here. Thank you, Mr. Creeper. <laughs> it just turned day not too long ago. You can't even see the sun here. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah. Cool. So if we come take a little hop down here. I'm sure some of you guys are already guessing what this is. If we just keep on coming down, spiral staircase, and you know what that means. We found the stronghold. <laughs> so if we come, I think it's over here. I didn't explore too much. Ooh. Oh, I didn't light anything up either. Thank you. Ta-da! So there we have it. We have the end portal. Uh, oh crap, not these guys. Oh, we might be starting a pandemic here. What's this guy dropping? What's this? Silver nugget. Ooh. Nice. We gotta jump and hit him and one hit him so that no other ones come out. Let's just get this. Oh, that's all the torches I have. So, how many do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we need seven Ender Pearls. And we need to go back to the Nether. But, uh, yeah, so I really like this. I've been farming a little bit of clay. My inventory is really full up because we have some other plans this episode. So, <laughs> uh, so we can't worry about the end right now. i got to still do a little bit more Ender Enderman farming. Um, Enderman farming, aka coming out here at night and fighting them. <laughs> so, I need to go murder some more cows. I'm running low on food again. So yeah, this is a bad place. You see how dark it gets. So let's go ahead and let's go back to the house. So what I wanted to work on today, let's go ahead and go. Uh, we'll, we'll wait on that. Um, I think we're okay in here. So we're gonna do some miscraft stuff today. So we have a writing desk. Which is super simple to make. It's just five uh, wood planks, a feather, and a glass bottle. Ta-da! And then we have a book binder, which is five more wood and then three iron. Ta-da! And then we have an ink mixer, which is five stone, smooth stone, a glass bottle, and then two planks. <laughs> so, something else we need for this is we need... Oh, man, I need, like, one more of those. Is we need some ink files. And luckily, they stack. So, <laughs> so we're just gonna make some of these ink files real quick. Silver nuggets, huh? We ought to make a we ought to make a farm out of that. I'll keep that in mind. So what we do is we go ahead and throw this in here, and we give this thing some paper, and that's how we get link panels. So uh, that's gonna come in handy for our age we're gonna be creating. A book binder is just where you can put some leather, and uh, it'll actually make the descriptive book for you. Whoa, do y'all see that? Oh, oh, it's just this thing freaking out. Like those two blue lines. Let's see if it kind of get it to happen again. Ah, like, like watch right here. See those two blue lines? Crazy. Okay, and then there, here's the writing desk. So, um, I've kind of prepared a general um, list of, of pages we're going to use. So let me cut real quick. I'm going to get that prepared, and I'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys, welcome back. So, I have prepared all the pages we need. Uh, that took a while and a lot of testing in like a creative world, but I want to go do this real quick. I actually went clay farming. Let me show you this little chest here. Oop, not that one. Bam! And I went desert farming. I got a big old hole in our desert biome over by the village now uh, where I was mining a bunch of sand. And then I got a bunch of clay from out here in that ocean because that's a pretty big ocean out there. So. That took a while, though. But, uh, yeah, we got 
two coke ovens now. Uh, we may be doing something with this, like maybe making this into kind of a uh, power generation area. Uh, maybe use some of this creosote and coal coke for uh, EU production and stuff like that. But uh, let's go ahead and throw that in there. We have extras. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So let's go over these pages real quick. First, we need a link panel because you need that no matter what for Mistcraft nowadays. So let's go over this real quick. Um, what the heck was I searching? Stia? Who knows? Uh, so link panels first. This just makes it so that you can actually make the book for it. Then we have a plains biome, extreme hills, and then tiled biomes. So pretty much these two will be tiled every other biome. We have a flat world, so it's just flat. It's not normal generation. Bright lighting, so it's really, really bright. No weather, so we don't have any rain or, you know, if there was snow or something like that. Zenith phase, this is this just means noon. And then it's zero length, so it's going to stick at uh, noon time. Then we have normal sun, normal moon, normal stars. And here's our modifiers. We have star fissure. I'm going to show you this when we actually go into the world. We have obelisk, which just make obsidian things. We have dungeons, which obviously make uh, <laughs> spawner dungeons. And then we have crystalline formations, which gives us crystals if we, say, wanted to make a mistcraft portal. Then we have the villages modifier as well. And we have the yellow color, which is for the sunset color, the white color for the clouds, and then the blue color for the sky color. And then we're just using a clear modifiers thing. So let's go ahead and pop these all in here real quick. we got to do it real careful because this thing's real iffy how you put stuff into it. Because normally people do it with notebooks, but I've got all the pages here, so. Boom, there we go. So, here's our descriptive book, age two. So, uh, let's, ooh, do we have a, how, how do you make a bookcase? Or, not that, a, uh, a book stand? There we go. Okay, two sticks and a piece of wood. Okay. There we go. So let's put this right, chia, and we'll put that in there, and then let's go ahead and get all of our stuff back on our bar. There we go, as well as our food, and let's go take a look at it. So hopefully this works very very well, and we don't die. Oh, okay, we're good. Awesome. So, well, first off, here's a star fissure. fissure. Uh, this, this goes all the way to void, but when you fall through it, you actually teleport back to the overworld spawn. So, uh, they're not dangerous or anything, and it actually gives you a really good idea where all the ores are, so you can uh, even dig down. Like, early on, if we're not going to put a portal here yet, you know, we'll go ahead and just dig down and get stuff. And... Yeah, lots of random generation. And these are the crystalline formations. And you can just grab these like this. And then you can make uh you can make miscraft portals out of it. You guys may have seen that on the first season or two of first season of Hypermine. And let's see. There's the obelisk that just makes obsidian and random <laughs> big things. And here's a miscraft. Uh, temple? I'm not really sure what these are called. But these contain pages, like we got a thicket biome here, redwood forest, redwood forest, zero length, and blessed bog. And then we got chest here in the corner, paper, and then some more pages. So, that's pretty cool. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is we have our linking book, and it should be following us. If I set it up correctly, then we just got to find the way back. Hello, where's our thing? Is it over here? Oh, dang it. Let's just get some dirt. Let's peel her up real fast so we can see where we're going. Uh, uh, over there. What is it? Yeah, this is it right here. So this is waypoints, new waypoint. We're going to call this the uh, age exit. There we go. Just so we kind of have an idea. Oh, I didn't bring enough to make another bookcase. Oh, well. 
Well, we got the book to it now. Uh, I really want to do this. <laughs> Let's just hope this works. Oh, it does. Okay, it works. <laughs> that's that's real sketchy doing it like that. So, so yeah, guys, what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to have to go uh, farm some more Endermen so we can get some more Ender Pearls, and uh, we need to set up some oil stuff and. I'm going to have to figure out what's the best way to do it. I guess like the cheapest. Because, uh... We still got test racks. Which take that. Which take that. Which take... Ender. And this takes that. Which is... I don't even need an induction smelter. Okay. And then Enderium. How do I make that? Induction smelter... Yeesh. Okay, that might not be a viable option now. I think it used to be a lot cheaper. Uh, let's see. What kind of... Uh-huh. Uh Creative portable tank. <laughs> Alright. Now, I wonder what these portable tanks... How you can pick those up if we give it something. Let's see real quick. This would be a fun experiment. <laughs> okay. Oop. Hello. Uh, let's see. Portable tank. Okay. I assume these all hold different amounts. Yep. Okay. What's the recipe for this? Invar and a portable tank, which is just copper and glass. Okay. How do I make Invar again? Invar blend, which is iron dust and nickel, or ferrous. Oh, it's ferrous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've actually got some of that, so that might not be a hard thing to go for. Oof, and then we'd need uh, our induction smelter. Okay. So, let's go ahead. Let's grab one of these guys. And this is what they look like. It holds 16 buckets. So, now we're going to need a wrench, correct? Uh, let's see, which one do we go for? Maybe that one. And then let's get a bucket of oil, for example. Now let's fill it up. Aha. Neat. Okay. So what I think I may do... Now let's see. What's the biggest tank we can actually create? Without going for an iron or... Uh, obviously Zycraft isn't in here. Hmm, unless we just create a bunch of these and just stack them on top of each other, and you guys are being obnoxious, and then we can just keep feeding it from these, that might be a good viable option right there. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to work on that real quick, guys. I'm going to uh, probably go pack up all our quarry stuff from over here, and then uh, we'll, we'll get going, so I'll see you guys in a second. Hey guys, just a quick update. So I've demolished all the quarry stuff, and now uh, I filled up a bunch of more of these tanks, and I'm getting them all into these hardened tanks. I went ahead and made them. Uh, I've got nine of them in total, and I've got a bunch more invar, so we could even make more. It's just for the next step. Uh, what is it? This reinforced. We're gonna need a induction smelter, which we can worry about later, maybe next episode or something. But yeah, so I'm making some good headway on this, getting these all filled up. And uh, then, yeah, I'll meet you guys over at the Mining Age. Hey guys, welcome back. So, here we are in our Mining Age, as you guys remember. So, I've gone ahead and I've moved the entire quarry setup over here into... What's up with that? Hold on. Hold on. Why do I take damage from that? Who knows? <laughs> so, yeah, I've got the quarry setup. I've got all of our portable tanks here. I've already used one. Uh, those combustion engines are very, very hungry. Uh, oops. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay, as I say, well, I've used three now. <laughs> so I got a diamond pipe set up at the moment. Uh, it's just voiding out, uh, oops, and gravel, uh, dirt, cobble, and gravel. And, uh, yeah, so that's just going to keep going. We're not going to be getting a whole lot in here. Oops, that's in there because I didn't have the diamond pipe set up in time. So, yeah, that's just going to void all that out. Everything else is going to come into here. 
We should have enough room for everything. I'm going to be kind of watching it closely. And also, this doesn't run unless I'm logged in since it's single player. So there's no worries. It's not going to overflow or anything crazy. As long as we're not away for a very long time. Uh, and if we actually check, what is it? Is it? Oh, don't press F6. That will stop the recording. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, there we go. So let's see. What all chunks is this thing in? Uh, let's see. Let's get some cobble so we can see these lines a little easier. Okay, so it's in the middle of these two chunks. And and it's in this one. So all of our stuff should be loaded. So this thing should run even if we go back to the house, which is cool. So we'll keep that in mind. And what was it, F9? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. And it's F7 to see where mobs can spawn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, this is going to go a good little ways. Uh, hopefully this thing will have enough oil to get a bit done. And we are up at 73Y which is a little higher than the uh, ocean, but it's also going to be much, much, much easier for us to get to the bottom because we don't have to swim through the whole ocean. I can just make a staircase or, or use water and get down there real easily. But uh, So, yeah, that's where we currently stand, guys. Um, I'm going to check the time on this episode. I don't know how long I've been recording. Uh, I forgot to charge my phone last night, so I haven't been using its timer. So, oh god, we fell. Oh, jeez. Let's get out of here before the quarry yells at us. Yeah, you can break that block. You'll figure it out. Uh, hey, guys. That last cut may have been a bit rough. Um, <clears throat> I don't really know what I was thinking. I wasn't done recording yet. Uh, just kind of spaced out. So, uh, I have a new age for us to check out. This one is going to be a desert oil field biome. So, this is going to be kind of our oil field area. So if we go ahead and come in here, let's go ahead and put them all in here. And it's really cool. I checked it out in creative to see if it would even be worth making. I also checked out the ocean oil filled one. It wasn't as cool. You have to deal with water. Which, meh, I guess isn't really a huge, huge deal. But uh, I would rather just have straight oil. This one is a bit strange sometimes though. So let's go ahead and let's put this one down. And let's see, let's change the name of this one. This is going to be Oil Field Age. And, oh, it doesn't tell me when I click on it. Oh, well. So if we go ahead and take a look at it, please tell me I got my linking book on me. <laughs> I didn't really check that before I teleported. Okay, I do. Whew. Just checking. So, yeah, check it out. So, uh, this one does have a bit of weird stuff happening. Like, for example, you see uh, these spheres. I don't know. And it's got an uh, obelisk. I don't think it's got any corruption. Okay, it has some corruption. Because uh, it would be lightning. It wouldn't be lightning if it didn't. But, uh, fortunately, I have all the instability turned off. So, there's not going to be any decay or anything weird. I just turned that off for the sake of the Let's Play. Uh, and some mob spawn. That's interesting. So, yeah, as you can see, it's a bunch of oil gazers or geysers, however you say it. I think it's guy. Oh, holy frame drop. Uh, generating new chunks. Um, and especially with, like, oil-filled chunks, it gets kind of wonky. So, as you can see, you have, like, these normal pools of oil. I don't know if this is going to get me sick going into it. No. So, as you can see, it's only one to two deep. I'm surprised that doesn't give me any effects. Okay. I'm not going to question it. Um, but, and then you see we've got the gazers or geysers or pff, whatever. I think it's geysers. I don't think it's gazers. So, and then as you can see here, if we jump into here, you can see that goes all the way down there. And then all the way down there is a huge room that's full of uh, oil. So I think this is where we're going to be getting our oil from. It's a lot more convenient. And this way I can just load these chunks and not have to worry about loading overworld chunks, which can spawn a bunch of mobs and kind of make us hit uh, mob cap and stuff like that. And since these are so much closer to each other, we don't have to move stuff very far. So back at our setup, if we head back to the overworld, and then we head over here to our quarry, uh, this is where I've been kind of setting everything up. And you can just put these little, oh, I don't have any homie, you can put them right on top of here. And it'll directly fill it up. 
But uh, this was an oil uh, gazer or geyser, whatever. And as you can see, this one goes pretty far down. Uh, but we're not going to go down there because I'm going to drown. <laughs> so we're pretty much going to use the same setup there. What I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to finish off this one. I'm going to get as much as I can out of it because I don't want to just leave one half gone. So I'm going to finish this one off. I'm going to get a bunch more oil and stuff. And then we'll move to the oil field age because at least this way we don't have to have two different pumps going on and have to worry about two of them. So, and these uh, four redstone energy, uh, energy, redstone energy, redstone engines work very, very well for this pump. So we don't have to like back supply it with any power from a combustion engine or anything like that. So now that we kind of have a more steady stream of oil, I want to move into some more advanced uh, energy generation systems. So if we take a look on the U of this the uses. You can see we can put it in a refinery, and it, it makes us fuel, which we can then use for lots of cool stuff. <laughs> for example, uh, in the in the Hypermine season one, we used this uh, we used this at our bee house to produce steam energy. But you can also put these things in uh, semi fluid generators, and you can get all kinds of cool stuff. But this takes some crazy crafting and stuff like that. But we're still very, very far away from that step. I think we should have a good sur surplus of it before we attempt to do anything like that. But, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for the end of this episode. I'm going to work a bit off camera gathering some more ender pearls from the clay biome. And then I may go make a linking book to go into the end so I can come back without having to fight the dragon. Or I may just kill it off camera. I don't really think it's a huge, huge deal considering, you know, this isn't a vanilla let's play. We're more worried about other things. So, uh... Yeah, guys, if you have any suggestions at all, please leave them down in the comments below. I'm always very interested to hear what y'all have to say about the series, or if y'all want to try anything cool, or maybe there's something cool I should check out I haven't checked out yet. Uh, like maybe something to do with this oil stuff, or or maybe a cool age I can check out. That's that's I'd, I'd be cool with that. Uh, so, yeah, guys, if you have enjoyed likes and favorites and the such, are always very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time.